Welcome back to Come to Qualify. Thank you so much for watching. So we're continuing our discussion talking about changing our focus, thoughts, and influences. And we're basing it off of the quote by James Allen that I made my own, saying that in life, we either reach the height of our cherished aspirations or we will fall to the level of run chasing desires. That is why conscientious application of what we're focusing on, thoughts we're cultivating, and the external forces we're allowing to influence us are so vitally important and indubitably indispensable to our eventual success or failure. Let's go ahead and dive in. So what is focus? Well, focus by definition is the act of concentrating interest or activity on something. So today what we're going to be focusing on is, ha, <laughs> focusing on, focusing. Anyhow, <laughs> what we're going to be focusing on is, what we're going to be talking about rather is why is focus so important? And is what I'm focusing on today conducive to where I want to be? And is it conducive to my growth as well? So why is focus so important? Well, focus is important because bottom line, focus is the starting point to get us from point A to point B. You know, if we, if I focus, you know, let's just say, for instance, I am a guy or a girl who wants to go to the gym and wants to get healthy and wants to get my body in shape. Well, their focus needs to be on, you know, making sure they're getting to the gym and, and you know, make sure they're getting to the gym, number one, making sure they're doing the right exercises, making sure they're spending the right amount of time doing those exercises. Also making sure that they're putting the right food in, making sure they're getting the right recovery, making sure they're doing the right things that are conducive to those goals that they want, that they want to achieve for them themselves, which might be toning up, adding some muscle, or losing weight, whatever it is. But in life, the same same thing, the same thing, you know, is valid. You need to make sure that if you want to get to a goal, you need to have the focus on that goal, making sure that you're doing the right things that'll get you to that goal. You know, I can't, you know, I love the sport of triathlon. I think it's an amazing sport, but I can't have any growth in that area if my focus is all over the place. You know, giving you a perfect example of having focus and not having focus is going back to my first year in triathlon. Last, you know, last year when I first actually started triathlon, rather, sorry. Um, I started training back in June or July of 2015. I had a limit distance triathlon that I really wanted to do. And uh, it was a uh, limit distance for those who don't, who may or may not know, is a point nine mile swim, at least the one that I did, it was a point nine mile swim, a about a 25 mile bike ride, and a six mile run. And so, Bought a book, wasn't too committed to that book that gave me a training plan. Uh, kind of lackadaisically, you know, went went about my training. Struggled through the swim on the uh, on race day. It was uh, <laughs> didn't really do too well on the bike either, and was terrible on the run. And so my goal was to finish, and I did finish. And but it was just ugly, right? But that's that's the difference between not having focus and having focus. So fast forward a year, and my my time in that race was three hours and thirty three minutes, which is pretty slow. And for me at least. And so my time, let's fast forward a year. I hired a coach. I started modeling, first off, I started modeling what successful people do in this area. So people who are successful have a coach, they have a plan, they have goals, right? So I did those exact same things. I had a coach, I had a plan, and I have goals. And so fast forward a year, being fully committed, being fully focused, I finished the race in three out in two hours, sorry, in two hours, 33 minutes, completely shaved an hour off of my time. And that was the difference. That, that's the, the only difference was being fully committed and changing my, changing my focus on there. So, but focus was a starting point. I was like, you know, I wasn't really focused on it. wasn't very committed. And, but after I changed my focus, my focus was, all right, all right, you need to be committed. You need to make sure you're doing the right things in order to have a successful race. And I did. And it was a lot more fun, a lot more fulfilling because I realized like, man, if I can pour this focus into these areas, imagine what I can do in other areas of my life as well. So that's the same thing in this area as well. So focus is important. I'm answering the question, why is focus important? Well, focus is so important because it can get you from point A to point B and it can really ch start to change your life for the better. Now, obviously focus isn't the main thing, but you know, it's a starting point. There's also changing your thoughts and changing your influences. And we'll talk about those in the coming weeks, but focus is a major starting point to making your life magnificent. And so you really need to ask yourself, are the things that I'm doing today conducive to where I want to be? You know, are, are, are the things, are people you're hanging around with, are the thoughts you're cultivating, are, is what you're focused on mainly, is what you're focusing on today conducive to where you want to be? You know, if I have a five-year goal of qualifying for the Ironman World Championship, or four-year goal, I should say, um, qualifying for the Ironman World Championship by 2020, in my age group of 25 to 29-year-olds, well, if my focus gets off on that, you know, I'm not committed to my training every day. I'm not committed to eating, eating the right foods to make sure my body's performing right. I'm not committed to making sure I'm getting the right recovery in. Well, I can have that goal all I want, but if I'm not doing the things that are conducive to that, if I'm not focusing on the things that are conducive to that goal, well, a goal without a plan, without any action, is just a hope, right? And so I can't just hope I'm going to get to the way because get somewhere because hoping leads the town, you know, someday, you know, just hoping I'm, you know, going to get there someday leads to the town called nowhere, right? And it's a place I don't want to end up. It's a place I don't want you to end up either. So 
recapping on this on this video is really asking ourselves why so why is focus so important we know focus is important because focus is the starting point to get us to where we, we are to where we want to be but also ask yourself this question is what I'm doing today conducive to where I want to be is are the actions I'm taking or the focuses I'm, is what I'm focusing on today conducive to where I want to be and if it isn't well the, <laughs> the first step in really recognizing changing your life is realizing that what you're doing today isn't right so that therefore you can change it and the best way to do that is to model people that have done what you want to do. You know, I can model professional triathletes in order to get to be successful in this area. You know, a guy who wants to be a business person can model the successful business person. A woman who wants to be a successful coach or speaker or, you know, personal trainer can model the successful people in that area. Because people who want, the people that have already done what we want to do are already out there. And their plans are already out there. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. All we have to do is change our focus to do what they did, speed up time, we get the same results. So. That's what I want to leave you with today. Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we'll be talking about thoughts. The week after that, we'll be talking about influences. I really appreciate the support. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not. And find me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. That's, I post pictures on a regular basis on there, essentially do, you know, documenting my journey to my destination. And follow me on, and friend me on Facebook as well and follow me on Twitter. And uh, really, really excited about the four-year journey ahead of me. And really, more, more importantly, looking forward to inspiring someone along the way to change their life and make their life magnificent as well. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. God bless. See ya.